Who's that teacher? I'm Harrison. And I'm Noah. Today we're going to find out about the photography class going digital, see how the bowling team did at state, we reintroduce the golden moment, and make sure you keep your eyes peeled for the hidden saber. There are certain segments here at the saber roar that have continued throughout the years. Now we'd like to introduce the 2014 class's take on the golden moment. Welcome to 2014's first golden moment. This is the first year we're actually going to show you how we're picking. So this year we have Mrs. Watson, who is our unbiased picker, and she is going to pick out of one of these buckets, and they're all labeled with everyone from the school, and decide who is going to get this year's golden moment. Good morning. All right, so I'm just going to make these, mix these up for you, and you can pick out of any bucket you want, okay. and then you're going to say who the winner is. Okay. And the winner is? Who is the winner of the golden moment? <sighs> Looks like there's been some technical difficulties, so we'll never know who won the golden moment. Or will we? It was no surprise when the boys bowling team made it to state again this year. The hard work and consistency of the varsity bowling team throughout the season helps them qualify for team state, which took place in Green Bay. Overall, the team placed an impressive 15th out of 24 teams. The two seniors, Matt and Devin, were two of only 80 bowlers in the state who qualified for individual. Both performed extremely well, and Devin was able to make the second round in the top 24. At the end of the first round, Devin was in 21st place, but his spectacular bowling in the second round allowed him to take 11th place overall. This was a great way for them to end their high school careers, and everyone on the team deserved their success. Congratulations to the team for finishing this year out strong. While construction is changing the way our school looks, the art curriculum is also being altered to reflect the current needs of our students. Every six years, each department goes through a comprehensive curriculum review in order to maximize the number of classes and opportunities that will help FHS students become college and career ready. Because traditional photography is now an outdated technology, department teachers and district curriculum coordinators have opted to eliminate the darkroom and increase students' exposure to digital photography by implementing new technologies such as advanced cameras and updated software. So as always, I go and I create activities and projects that will still have some type of darkroom objectives in it where they'll have some dabbling in it so that they still do have a little bit of understanding of where photography started and how it's evolved. Students will continue to be exposed to traditional photography but will now have more time to perfect the skills required in today's art industry. The old darkroom will also be put to good use as part of a new study area. Now Let's actually find out who won the golden moment. And the winner is? Elizabeth. Oh, I'm sorry. 
How did you feel when you got the pass from Mr. Bell? I was a little worried because I didn't realize I was doing anything wrong. I was like, what was I doing? But so you're a good kid then? Yeah. Okay. Were you intimidated by Mr. Cohn? A little bit because I didn't know what was going on. So you were surprised when they walked or when you walked in and you had a big cookie waiting for you? I was very surprised, yeah. Are you going to share this cookie with anyone special? Maybe. Depends. All right. Are you going to eat it all in one day? No, I'm going to save for the moment. Do you think your class is going to be jealous when you come back with this? Definitely. All right, let's go see the reactions. Congratulations to Elizabeth. We hope you enjoyed your crazy cookie. And now for this week's Uproar winners. I nominated Hawk Wimmer for Uproar not because of what he's done lately, but because what he has done all year. It's very hard for students to maintain that positive um, and consistent attitude. So anytime you come in, and he's a freshman in advanced physics, there's that learning curve. And that learning curve starts out low for everybody. As time goes on, Hawk just kept working, 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 and stayed as a positive, um, successful student in advanced physics. Franklin High School, a school in turmoil, a school in need of a hero. Mrs. Retzloff has nominated one such hero. This hero is always working to be his personal best. He is caring about his peers and all others in the school. This hero is an all-around good student. Who is this hero, you ask? This hero is Ben Orona. Congratulations to the Uproar winners. From all of us here at the Sabre Roar, I'm Noah. And I'm Harrison. Hit me up on the Moodle. I'm out. Woo! It's Mr. Wiedenhoff.